<clears throat> well, thank you for coming in, Reverend Dr. Jason W. Morrison, Theologist, Central Coast, New South Wales, Australia. <clears throat> Gosford, actually. We're into Proverbs 25, viewers. I just want to encourage you as I speak to more and more people about drugs and alcohol and relationships and things. The more I hear, the more I see that the the direct connection between sex addiction and drug addiction and all these other destructive things where people are being sedated, they're actually coming home and sedating themselves on the bong and the alcohol and other things and wasting themselves. They're actually being sedated. They'll have partners that pass them the bong. They'll have parents that pass them the bong. These people are sedating you and you are just sedating yourselves. You need to stop and think about where your life's headed, what this is doing to you and who you're affecting around you. What example are you setting? My goodness me, a lot of you people judge people. You, you think you run around judging people. Um, you're pointing the finger at people. It's because your conscience is pricking you. Your conscience is saying to you, look, I'm showing you the light. Um, there is a light there for you. Come into the light. You don't need to be sedated. You don't need to let your partner sedate you. You don't need to let your parents sedate you. You don't need to let yourself sedate you. <clears throat> I don't care if it's marijuana, alcohol, um, speed, or these other silly synthetic uh, destructive drugs that are harming people. Um, another another son has killed his mother in the States, drug addict, just turned on his mother. He got um, a build-up of resentment and she was ripping his life off, supplying him with all whatever he wanted, turned on her, killed her. So this is happening more and more now. Um, the enab enabling disenablers are really starting to come undone as the light's coming more and more into the darkness. But don't underestimate the fact that the darkness is getting darker. Oh, boy. Um, the drugs and things are all available. My daughter's a police officer, and she t every day somebody's committed suicide, somebody's killed somebody, somebody's smashed their car, all drug-related. You need to wake up. You need to have a close look at what you're running from. You need to maybe start a journal journal about yourself that'll usually reveal answers to you as you journal um, you might want to pray to the lord uh, some of you have got christian pedigree and you've just turned your back on it um, you've been influenced to do that by the devil himself i would suggest you come back to that but for the moment proverbs 25 as we leave 24 we've had some wonderful chapters it is the glory of god to conceal a matter Right now, there's some things that you're just not ready to know. There's some things that I'm not ready to know, and God will conceal the matter of it. Phone. Yes. Have I had dinner? No. I'm going to get Thai. Would you like something? Thai. Um, Thai. What do I? What do I normally have for Thai? Lyndall and I used to um, forget what she used to get. What do I used to get? Um, what did I used to get? Get noodles or? Can you get na um nasi goreng from Thai? Uh, maybe. That's like rice. That's like a rice. Um, you oh. like um? Have you ever had pad Thai? Yeah, just get me that, mate. Yeah, thanks. Like a pad Thai? Should I get pad Thai viewers? Yeah, pad I'll get. Thai. I'm gonna get a pad Thai. It's nice. I'll get a pad Thai that's then. Good. I'll get a pad oh, Thai. Buddy. Cool. Bye right, for me. I'll see you about half hour. Thanks, buddy. Bye. Yeah. Yeah. I got good kids. Somehow, rather being hard on them, paid off. <laughs> Sorry about that, viewers. That's just a bit of my family life. Um, I don't think anybody should come between parents and their children, but at the same time, I think you should have healthy boundaries around your private life. Um, it is the glory of God to conceal them out of this. Some things. Uh, that we need to put effort into to find the answers out it, and the glory of kings to search it out. If we get things given too easily, we take them for granted, don't we? <clears throat> now, 
a lot of you people are being you don't realize it you think you are all getting around the bong and getting on the speed and the cocaine i got mates down the gym they all live with their mums and they're all messed up they're all enmeshed and you know they go out and wreck people's lives and their lives and they all think it's great because they're getting sex and everything No, 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 no. <clears throat> They're giving themselves away to things that don't mean anything. Okay? And they're bringing this um, element of low self-worth upon themselves because victims love to have a sense of low self-worth. Did you know that? Victims and martyrs love to have a sense of low self-worth. So how much of a victim and a martyr are you? Right? It takes effort sometimes to search things out. It takes effort to realize that the drugs and the drink and the alcohol and the... the um, some of you people need a good kick up the ass to be shaken out of your stupor. These things are wasting your life. And if you don't put the glory on yourself to start to search out the light and some of you people have seen it you've had the light blaring at you and you've turned away like a vampire with a crucifix there's an example from brand stroker's dracula the crucifix the vampire shrieks back there's some more images there's one there where Dracula shrinks back from the crucifix. This is what's happening now to people who have the opportunity to come into the light. You're seeing the light and you're shrinking back because you haven't got the strength to want to search out what God's trying to lead you into for your purpose. It takes effort. It's your glory. <clears throat> Sorry, to seek these things out. And God will build your mental and emotional muscles by holding it back so that you reach out. As the heavens are high and the earth is deep, so the heart of kings cannot be searched. There's personal things that you need to search out for yourself. If you're a man as a king, if you're a woman as a queen, you have to search out your heart. You have to realize that you need someone to save you from it. And you have to realize that the Holy Spirit, I'm sure I've got something prepped, will show you to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. The Spirit will reveal all things that have been committed to me by the Father, the Holy Spirit himself will reveal things to you that have been revealed to him by the Father. There are things that we need to find out that only the Holy Spirit can help us with. And your heart, your life, why would you, why are you wasting it on as in a means of an escape, it's a, the um, you're being sedated. You're sedating yourself. Do you understand that? All your recreational drugs and all this other stuff, you're just sedating yourself. Big hard day of bricklaying today. And you're robbing yourself. It's the glory of God to conceal a matter. It's like when you've got a bone and the dog knows you've got the bone and it's just sitting there and it's going to find it. Well, it's your glory to do the same thing for yourself with your life. You are responsible to come back to your heritage for your life. <clears throat> John 3. Sixteen. 
Now there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a leader of the Jews, and he came to Jesus by night. Right? By night. It's the glory of God to conceal a matter and the glory of kings to search it out. This man came to Jesus by night because he didn't want anyone to see him. Quite basically, Jesus said to him at the end of it all, <clears throat> and I'm saying this to you, for you, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, his one and only son, that everyone, everyone who believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting night. All you have to do is believe. You need that revelation. Lord, my God, I want the light. For God did not send his son into the world but to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. Whoever believes in him is not condemned. See, it's self-condemnation. But you're not condemned if you believe in him. But whoever does not believe has already, is already been condemned because has not believed in the name of God's one and only Son. Why? Because this is the verdict. The light, the light, ladies and gentlemen, has come into the world, but people love darkness rather than the light because their deeds were evil. You've got to search this out. Everyone who does evil hates the light and does not come into the light for fear that his deeds will be exposed. And that's why many of you are meeting people and you're going into their lives where you don't belong, lit up like a light. And your light is causing these family members to shrink back. Not on purpose, it's just a, it's just a consequence. And it's, they're not ready for the light. They don't want it. They don't want their evil deeds to be exposed. Do you want to believe in the Lord? Is it time for you just to enjoy your life in peace? No drugs, no alcohol, no shit, but a good, happy, peaceful, self-determined life with value on yourself. If it is, read John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever shall believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. I'm Reverend Dr. J.W. Morrison, theologist. Thank you for joining me. Come to the light and bye for now.